Student Retreat is an opportunity for Year 11 students to go out and minister to the marginalised in the Brisbane community. It also allows us to gain a new perspective on life and put our faith into action. During Street Retreat, students attend different ministries throughout the day and night, ranging from preparing and serving food to talking and getting to know those who use these services. At the end of the day, the students all come back and they are given personal reflection time to think about the day. We then gather into small groups and as a small group we will debrief the day, hear the different experiences that each student had that day, anything that stood out to them or was a challenge for them. And then we gather as a large group and we debrief the day again, hearing from every ministry and what they got up to. To end the night we finish in a prayer which consists of the awareness examine to help us think about and reflect on the day we had. Some highlights included celebrating mass as a whole group with the priest being so passionate within his homily and also being able to receive the Eucharist was an incredible thing. We were also involved in some advocacy for refugees um, which resulted in a three kilometre walk giving each of the students time to reflect on how refugees are treated and if there's anything that we can do both individually and as a community to help these people. Once the walk was over, we gathered as a large Lismore group and just debriefed the entire street retreat, telling everyone what our highlight was, what a challenge was, and something that we want to bring back to the community. At the end of the debrief, each student was given a proclaimed Lismore flame pin and a street retreat key ring as a reminder of everything they experienced on this retreat and to just always go out and do the best for themselves, their school and their community. Friday night we got to go to Ignite Live, which I was so excited for. It was one of the things I was most excited for. And it was a bit of praise and worship, a couple of talks. There were people there that I connected with through like net things and Ignite in the past. And praise and worship is just something that makes me come so alive. Like I never feel more myself than when I'm there amongst the music and dancing and phrasing and I just love it. <laughs> At Emmanuel City Mission, it was particularly difficult because there were people there who came from backgrounds that we didn't know about and they were a little bit intimidating. But once we approached them and started talking to them, you could just see how happy they were to have someone to tell their story to. And they just seemed so happy to have someone to connect with. So it was really good, but really hard. The quote was from one of the organisers named Rita. Um, it says, to whom much is given, of him or her much is expected. What you think you have, they have so much worse. And how it just makes it just really affected me and affected so many of my peers here with me. Just, it will like give you that inspiration to make a difference. I think having that courage to like confront um, the truth about what people actually go through and like your internalized fear of you know realizing like oh I'm more privileged and I can help you like I have that um, responsibility to help and care for you. What I love about the past few days is the environment where there's so much love and care and compassion everywhere. I just haven't been able to stop smiling like seeing the impact that I've made and how I've brightened their days have really brightened mine and giving back to the community I guess. One of the things I did is um, sorting out all the stuff in Vinnie's. We walked in and there were so many crates, like thousands of them, and it's only three people working in the factory. Then so we were sorting them into little boxes to shift them off to other Vinnie's. The lady, her name was Liz, who we were working for, and seeing her face after the amount of boxes we made for her was just like, amazing. Like, she was choked up, you know, yeah, it was really good. My relationship with God has definitely been deepened throughout this experience. So we had the opportunity to go and clean up a beach and just see how much our modern society and all the packaging and everything affects um, our natural environments that are so close to us. I think it was 7.3 kilograms of plastic waste that we picked up. Being able to look back and say, yeah, I helped those people, even though it might be small, it's still a difference. All those small differences add up. So my faith has definitely deepened. I've seen, you know, like the Lord's work being done out by all of his people. Um, and it's really, it's really heartwarming to see. But I think what I do want to take home the most 
is just remembering to help others, whether that be volunteering for time at a shelter or just helping those that are around me and need it. I don't want to lose that because it's something really special. Street Retreat has um, impacted my relationship with God in a way that I'm starting to see God in people. Like when I'm talking to people, I'm seeing like all these like qualities of kind, like generous people. They might be living on the street, but then they're, they're not bad people. Like they've, they've just had unfortunate situations happen to them. And I'm really seeing like the faith coming towards that perspective. I used to be very closed off about everything but seeing how these people's faith has really strengthened them and, and their will to keep on going through their everyday lives is incredible. And I think that that's something that we can all learn from and all take on in our own way and experience our own faith. I think I'm gonna take back a greater appreciation for everything that I have, all the friends I have, all the people that you know surround me with this love and um, knowing now that there are people that are struggling every single minute of the day is something that I think I'll always be aware of and it's something that yeah I think we all need to be aware of so that we can assist them. I just want to give back as much as I can.